Greetings to everybody. Um, my name is Tibusiso Moyo, the DVC for Research, uh, Innovation and Engagement at DUT. I really want to welcome you to the university and I am very excited to have this opportunity to just share a little bit about what we do in the research, innovation, engagement area. You are aware that the university um, uses uh, Envision 2030 as a strategy. It's an adopted strategy by the university and that strategy has a huge focus on innovation, entrepreneurship. So in the research, innovation, engagement portfolio, there's a number of things that we focus on. I'll start first of all by looking at uh, the importance of having the right people in the right place. Um, and, and for us, that's important because to do research, we need um, you know, enough capacity in terms of people who have doctorates, uh, people who are able to supervise, uh, people who are able to apply for grants, and people who are able to also uh, make sure that they can build capacity and help others to grow as well. Um, you will also notice that um, the university uh, currently is ranked fifth um, in the country. And then uh, for citations, uh, that means, you know, um, uh, the definition we use for that is really how much our research that we produce is used, um, uh, cited uh, in the country and globally as well. In terms of that indicator, we rank um, 12th um, uh, in terms of the Times Higher Education uh, World University rankings. So based on that, you can see that, you know, as a university, it's very important for us to, me to make sure that um, we capacitate our staff. So those of you who may not have doctorates, I would encourage you to really start thinking about what is it that you want to do. Uh, make sure you have at least a three-year research plan in place. We have the Research and Postgraduate Support uh, Directorate, which is able to support you. Uh, in terms of anything you may need, in terms of funding, uh, applying for grants, uh, and also just making sure that you know you get um, support in terms of the training that you may need, uh, because we do see that that's important as well to support our staff in those areas. We work very closely with the library in, in terms of that, so I think it's very important that uh, for those of you who are going to be taking on students, you know, to supervise, that you really connect with your library representative because it's, it's so important to know what resources are available. Uh, because even in terms of the quality of work, we are worried about the quality of the research and the knowledge that we produce as a university, that that quality of the work um, is of high quality so that we can maintain our rankings so that the students we produce and the knowledge we produce is usable by the community, uh, by the, you know, our sponsors as well, um, as that will also feed into transforming our socioeconomic um, uh, agenda as well in our region and in the country. Uh, then the other thing uh, we really push at DUTUC, we don't just say research, we say research and innovation because we are a university of technology. We know that to contribute to social economic transformation, it's important for us to produce knowledge that can be translated. So, so we have a, a directorate for uh, technology transfer and innovation, which focuses on that. Um, and and for, for you, I think it's important to know that when you're setting your research agenda, we really want to understand, you know, um, have you really looked at uh, what the value proposition is of what you're proposing? What will be the potential outcomes from that research? Um, uh, what can be translated to either become a service or a product from what you're doing? So that conversation with the Technology Transfer Innovation Office is also very important. Then I'll just roughly mention the other directorates because um, I believe that, you know, as you will be with us at DUT, there will be um, a session where we can talk about, you know, uh, uh, research, uh, innovation and engagement areas deeply so that, you know, we can have this conversation as part of the induction as well. So um, the other areas we have are the, you know, the corporate affairs division, which um, really helps us also to uh, communicate what we're doing as a university and also to promote our brand. So if you have something exciting in your area, you know, if you're doing something that really you want to share with the public. We want a lot of people to also contribute to, you know, policy briefs to be able to give public opinion, and then connect with the corporate affairs as well. Then there is the, uh, you know, the, the knowledge information cluster, management cluster, which involves uh, the ITSS, the people who support you in terms of your computers and IT facilities that you may need, the infrastructure side, uh, uh, and a number of policies related to that, which you should be fa familiar with. And then we also have the advancement and alumni relations. And we encourage those of you who are able to contribute to fundraising 
for various reasons. I mean, if you are doing research, you need funding. And usually, you know, an institution cannot put in so much to support that, that research. You, normally, as researchers, we should also be applying for grants. So I want to encourage you to apply for grants, to also get involved in some fundraising initiatives. We're able to raise, uh, you know, uh, raise funds for bursaries or for some of the key uh, community engagement projects that we have. So the advancement and alumni relations really helps us to connect us with our alumni, but it also supports us in terms of fundraising. The cooperative education is a very key component which uh, resides under this portfolio as well. The Cooperative Education Division helps us really in terms of um, connecting us with industry partners as well because we see, you know, students, um, uh, when we talk about graduate attributes, we really want our graduates to be adaptive, to be able to, uh, you know, um, create jobs, uh, create work, uh, and also to work into an environment and to be able to adapt easily to whatever the situation is. So that connection with industry is important, and the Cooperative Education uh, Directorate helps us to do that. Then we have other directorates like the Management Information, which is also in, in the Knowledge Information Cluster. Uh, there is the Research Ethics, which is part of the Research and Postgraduate Support. And, um, and, and, um, and, and I think that uh, probably covers all the directorates that are more on the support side. Then we also host a number of institutes. So our flagship institute and area of focus at DUT is the, you know, the water area, which is run by Professor Fezo Bax. And we, um, you know, that's our flagship program as a university. I'd encourage you when you have a chance to visit the institute because I think it translates everything that we want to see in our researchers in terms of, you know, infrastructure, in terms of the research that comes out from there, in terms of capacity, in terms of the students, uh, the postgraduate uh, fellows, uh, research fellows who reside within the institute. It's interdisciplinary across all faculties. So I think that if you look at just the clusters we have, you have a choice to join any one of those. The other areas, gender justice and human development for those in the social sciences, um, which is also hosted under this portfolio. And then we have the Center for Nonviolence, International Center for Nonviolence as well, which is a critical unit, especially if you look at some of the issues we've been facing now, you know, um, around uh, the challenges around the effects of the pandemic, um, uh, gender justice uh, issues around, you know, you can look at, uh, you know, just violence against women and some of the things we've been trying to also talk to, you know, trying to transform our society and contribute to the conversation as, uh, as to why men are violent in our community and how we can work together to change, um, you know, that history of ours. So there are a number of things which take place and um, I, I just think that you just need to be open to opportunities. We are an innovative university and we accept ideas if you have recommendations or ideas on which areas we can improve. We welcome that and I would like to encourage you to just engage us on that. And so I just want to maybe uh, uh, say uh, just one quotation which I'll leave you with because I don't want to really um, take a lot of your time. So, so if you, for those of you who've read the book by Paolo Calio, who wrote, uh, he's the author of The Alchemist, he says that there's only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve, and that is the fear of failure. And it is true, on the innovation space, you will fail. You can, I mean, uh, if you want to succeed, you have to actually take risks. Obviously, there have to be measured risks. But um, we want you to try to test ideas so that you, know, you can actually innovate. So to innovate, there is also failure as part of the risk of that. We also want you to be aware that as a university, we're moving toward a digital environment. And so even in that space, there's uh, room for innovation, room for creating new business processes, which we encourage you to be part of. We want um, to be able uh, to give our graduates a distinctive education and we want you to be also part of that journey. We're actually working on a curriculum which I believe will be one of the first in the country because we don't know anywhere else where they offer this that will be able to um, you know, uh, take a small group of students who are really interested in, in being entrepreneurs and take them through this program so that when they finish that program, they, they, they will have companies which have already been set up. We are already doing that, obviously, through our DUT Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, uh, where we are helping students set up businesses. But we think that this will be um, a very innovative uh, program, and we are looking at that. And we invite you to be part of that journey. We believe in being an engaged university, 
And being engaged also means that for staff as well, when you're applying, for example, for professorship or associate professorship or you know, other types of funding, um, it's important to show how engaged you are. So we have, you know, a part of our engagement agenda involves community engagement as well, and there are opportunities for that as well. So I'd encourage you also to engage with us on that. We have, for example, the Urban Future Center, uh, which is located in the engineering and built environment, we, where there are many projects where you could be part of, uh, you know, that journey as well. So with those few words, really, I welcome you to DUT. I wish you the best, and if you have any concerns or questions that you may have, feel free to contact me on dvcrie at dut.ac.za, or contact my colleagues, the research director, Dr. Linganiso, in the research postgraduate support, uh, Professor uh, Shelly Mutaung, also the director for technology transfer innovation, and then the other directors which uh, you will find on our website as well. So thank you so much, and welcome to DUT.